I need the lace to go. Okay, I don't need the ass to go pop. All right, that's that's what we need. subscribe and if you are returning thank you so much we are really close to 100k subscribers i'm honestly getting nervous because we are like really approaching that number so thank you thank you thank you y'all started my morning with me on this lovely sunday we are doing a reset today which i'm really excited about because it's kind of getting me in a groove of things because i kind of fell off of my like everyday morning routine and i really appreciate that so i am getting back into the groove of things as you saw Making my bed is like something that I need to do every single day, okay? It just helps with my overall productivity. Drinking tea is super important for me. I don't know if you guys have problems with your digestive system, but green tea gets you going, okay? Lemon and ginger, really good for the overall digestive system. If you have problems with acne like I do, spearmint tea is really good. So I kind of change in and out between those every day. And I have to read my devotional journal, set out things that I have in mind for goals that I want to accomplish that day, and just really get my mind straight, okay? So that's kind of how I start every single day. I love a good slow morning, okay? What I'm about to get into right now, is a little bit of skincare. I have been experiencing problems with insomnia. Can we talk real quick about mental health? <sighs> Sometimes my mind, my brain, my thoughts can just take over, okay? And ever since we went through daylight saving, I have just been really struggling with going to sleep at night. And it's just like... <laughs> This is not like me. I love my sleep. But y'all, I have been going through it, okay? I would just sit there in my bed and think about things constantly. It's like I cannot turn my brain off when it's time to go to bed. Throughout the day, I'll experience it too. But I'm kind of able to um, distract myself with things that I'm doing throughout the day. Just keeping myself busy, right? But you can't really get up and do something to distract yourself when you're trying to go to sleep. So I'm not trying to rely on things like melatonin to go to bed. I'm also not trying to get too dependent on listening to like rain noises, but they do help me sleep. But y'all, these designer bags, because I haven't been getting good a good night's rest the past couple of like days, we're gonna try out these faded patches, all right? But I'm gonna put these on really quick to help decompress the puffiness under my eyes because it's been really bad lately. And we are about to get into some eyebrow care, okay? I spoke about my eyebrows and how I take care of them in a past video. I just spoke about it, though. I didn't really show you guys. So today I'm going to show you, okay? So in terms of tools that you would need, you're going to need a spooling to just brush up the hair. Of course, you're going to need some type of blade or razor. Of course, you're going to need some itty bitty scissors. And then you're going to need some alcohol to disinfect all of your tools so while i'm doing that real quick do y'all want to get into a story time of my worst eyebrow experience which has led me to take care of my own brows for the past what five plus years okay girl so here's the story time i was in my second year of college boom i was a model and i was on the executive board of a modeling team so i had to do a photo shoot for the exec board right of course like everyone else i'm getting myself together I'm getting my hair together nails toes eyebrows right so i go to this nail shop because during my high school days when i was living in dc i would always get my eyebrows waxed at the nail salon did y'all do that and they did a pretty decent job. So here I am 
in the middle of Charlottesville. That's where I went to school, UVA. And girl, I go to this nail shop. I ask them to wax my brows. Okay, I tell them specifically I only want a cleanup. That just means get off the access where you know hair isn't supposed to be the middle, underneath, and over top. I told them do not change my shape and I told them um, to leave my arch. Don't get rid of my arch, right? So I'm gonna be showing you guys how I take care of my brows as I'm telling y'all this story. The first step is to just brush them up and then I'm gonna go in with the blade and just really get all those access hairs that shouldn't be there. Oh my God, I forgot you're also gonna need tweezers, duh, hold on. I don't know how I could forget the tweezers. I have very little tiny hairs underneath, so I have to go in and move them individually. But so yeah, I'm about to go straight in. I'm gonna zoom y'all in so you can have a better look of things. Okay, edges looking all curly. I know that's right. Boom. And you're just gonna pull at the skin um as you go in with your blade. But yeah, y'all, back to the story time. As soon as the lady went in with the wax, I knew something was wrong. So first things first, the wax was extremely too hot. It burned me. As soon as she put it on my skin, I kind of like did a little screech. I was like, oh, she's like, oh, too hot. Like, why that's the first thing you said? You knew the temperature of the wax was not correct. Girl, I could have walked out there with first degree burns messing with that lady. I don't know why she would do that to me. Let me find out this random lady had a crazy vendetta against me or something because why would you do that to a client? So she put the wax on the top of my brow immediately i'm in excruciating pain and she left it on for a while usually people like put the wax strip they rub it in so they get all the hairs and they remove it she put the wax strip stuck it down didn't touch it put another wax strip on stuck it down and i asked her i said is it too far low because i feel like it's on my hairs like i wish i just got up and left from jump nothing felt right right now i'm just going in getting these little hairs from my middle because i definitely be having a unibrow y'all don't do me but because of the placement of the wax i knew that she was getting rid of too much hair across the top i just knew it immediately because it just didn't i've been getting my eyebrows done for years y'all it didn't feel right it didn't feel right but what can i do it's already on now I'm, so I let her continue. Y'all, when she pulled that wax strip off, it was so painful. Why? Because she took too much of my hair off with it. Immediately, I feel this cooling sensation. Like, I feel all the wind just gust along my forehead because I don't have no hair. I know I didn't have any more hair. I was so distraught. So after I go along the top and I go in the center, I kind of go underneath where I can. I usually don't have too much hair underneath to get off and then that's when the tweezers come in hand. I just pull my brow up and I get these itty bitty hairs that do not belong. Oh, long story short, she ripped off my eyebrows. I didn't have it. My eyebrow looked like this. It was so thin. Mind you, I have a photo shoot the next day. I am stressed. She showed me the mirror. I said, this is not what I asked for. I asked you for a cleanup. You just removed all of my brows. I have no more brows. And I was like, let me see the wax. Let me see the strip. She wasn't trying to show me the wax strip because I wanted to see exactly. Like, I know I'm not bugging. I want to see the hair. I see bald skin around my eyebrows right now. I want to see how much hair you took off. I picked up that wax strip. Half of my eyebrow was on the wax strip. I said, oh, I'm gonna raise hell. I'm not paying for none of this. That day I also got a pedicure and the lady had cut my toe to the point where I was bleeding into the bowl. Ew, disgusting. I was like, I'm not paying for any of my services that I got today. Y'all don't know how to do anything in this nail salon. You don't know how to do pedicures. You don't know how to do eyebrow waxes. I'm not paying for squat diddly. I walked straight to the front desk. I was like, y'all are, y'all are not taking care of y'all clients. Y'all are doing half-ass work and y'all are also hurting your clients. Like, I was today i was burned and cut and i'm supposed to be in here relaxing like 
it pissed me off so bad. So, luckily there was a Ulta store right across the street from the nail salon. And that is when I learned how to fill in my brows. Like, my brows are good now, but y'all, my brows used to be beautiful. It took, I swear, about a year for my eyebrows to like fully grow back. Right now, I'm just brushing out the tail because usually that's the part that has the longest hairs and I'm going in with these scissors and I'm just trimming the slightest amount. Like I'm barely gonna cut, honestly speaking. It took like a year for my eyebrows to grow back. I felt so insecure. Like she literally like got rid of my confidence by taking off my eyebrows. I just did not like the way I looked. So for that photo shoot, I had to use my friend's brow pomade because that was the only thing that was dark enough to actually like hide the fact that I didn't have half of my eyebrows. And I didn't even know how to use the product. If you haven't used brow pomade, it's like super thick and dark. It was the Anastasia brow um pomade so uh girl I just looked like a hot mess I was so distraught but she did me a favor in disguise because ever since I have been doing my own eyebrows and I think doing it this way looks way better than how I used to do it back then I've tried threading once it hurts too much. Waxing your brows has cons because I think it's very painful and it takes off a lot of hair at once. So you can see like whenever I would get my eyebrows waxed, I would have like a light patch above my brows because it took off all that hair. This is painless, really easy to do, takes no time at all. And as long as you don't do anything different, you're going to get the same results every single time. Did I mention it's free? <laughs> and um, shout out to Brianna Monique because she kind of taught me how to do my brows at home. Yeah, you guys. And this is how I do my brows. Okay, so now that we have done our eyebrows, I'm going to keep the self-care train rolling. So, yes, hot oil treatment time. Basically, all you will need is your oil of choice. <sighs> I kind of wanted to start a hair care business and I still do but yeah um basically I make my own oils and I have for a really long time and uh, this is like my holy grail I feel like this oil has really helped me transform my hair over the past year after I did my big chop my curls are thriving because of this oil I swear and just taking care of my hair better in general then you're going to need a plastic cap or a heated cap. I have both, but today I'll just be using a plastic cap because then I'm going to hop in a really hot steamy shower and that's where I'm going to get all my heat from. So all I'm going to do is put a generous amount of oil over each section. I'm really just going to work it in, put all my hair into the cap, and I'll probably let it stay in my hair for a good 30 to 45 minutes so you're going to want to do hot oil treatments when your hair is thirsty and it's craving moisture there have been a lot of debates recently on if oil is even good for your hair or not and i think yes but you really just have to pay attention to how your hair responds to what you're putting in your hair so when i put oil throughout my hair my hair loves it so I'm going to continue to rock with oil. You also need to know that every single oil isn't good for everyone's hair type. So you have to find what oil specifically works for your hair. There's definitely Jamaican Black Castle oil in here. There is some jojoba. And there is some chebe oil. Chebe oil is my top secret to strengthening your hair. Okay? So, 
I have those three things plus a mixture of others in here. Find what oil works best for your hair type and just stick with it. Doing these hot oil treatments has helped my hair in so many different ways. First things first, it helps to seal my split ends. So whenever I'm experiencing a lot of damage ends, a lot of shedding, and a lot of breakage, I tend to do hot oil treatments to help replenish those ends. We all know that the ends of your hair are the oldest, so you really want to make sure that you're always keeping up with the ends of your hair. I've also realized that doing um, hot oil treatments on damp hair helps the hair to absorb that oil when your hair is damp first. I've also seen a lot of people do hot oil treatments as their pre-poo, kind of like a pre-shampoo treatment because um, adding oil to your hair, especially when it's really dirty and you have a lot of buildup, it really helps to remove all of that dirt and all of the access product so if you don't like doing um hot oil treatments try to do it before your shampoo process so yeah i kind of like to do these like once a month i haven't done one in a while though so it's been a minute but they're really beneficial i don't like to do them too often because the oils that i use are really they're not that affordable bro like these are high quality oils that i'm using so it's kind of pricey and I have a lot of hair so I could run through a lot um I could run through a lot of oil easily but do you see the shine the body uh if your hair lacks luster and shine oil treatments are definitely for you okay like this is not much product in my hair at all just really oil and water maybe like some old gel from a slick back or something but not too much I really like to go crazy in my, um, like where you will recede at on your hairline because my hairline is kind of thin in those areas. Look at my curls. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Now all you gotta do is apply your cap. If you have a steamer, I highly would recommend using. <laughs> like even if you have one of those portable ones that people use for skincare. Steam just helps things absorb much better. I'm gonna top it with my bonnet so it can really seal in the deal. And I will be back later. Okay, y'all. So I went ahead and did my nails off camera. They came out super cute. As you can tell, I'm really into the gems nowadays. It just gives a little oomph to the nails. I really like them. I did not film today's like nail tutorial because y'all have seen me do my nails a thousand and one times but i know the girls do be interested in what i'm using just so y'all know i'm using the same exact nails these are still from btr box from amazon i get everything from amazon and i recently did a full in-depth nail tutorial i'm gonna link it above so y'all can click on that and check it out because it has all the links all the details all the information step by step process i do the same exact steps same tools, ain't nothing changed. I'm just getting better and better each time because you can't tell me that these nails aren't tea. So I just love to do anything self-care on the weekend because when you look good, you feel good and I'm getting myself prepared for the week. So yeah, the hair got washed. She's still a little damp. So I just went ahead and put her in a cute little half up half down bun situation and we are currently in my bedroom because i'm about to give y'all some fashion content right it's not really fashion it's clothes but just hair doesn't even do that girl so we step out of our comfort zone so last video i meant to do this but i was so heated from my pedicure experience that i just cut the video short last time y'all saw that i had some athletic wear in last week's vlog and i rocked up on these sets okay they are from, these are from amazon so let me show you so when it comes to the tops i literally got five tops in total at once first i tried out the black tops and i was like yeah 
I like this vibe. I know y'all have seen me in the black version of this top so many times in my videos. I was washing it like heck. Um, and it actually is still holding up really well. Nothing happened to it. But I was like, let me order some different colors. So, um, I have like three black ones. And then I have this very light pink. She's super cute. She looks a little washed out in the full body mirror because there's a lot of sunlight coming into my window. So, she's not that light she's a little darker but i got it in this cute light pink i got a navy blue super cute i got like a baby blue which y'all saw me in um in last week's vlog and then i got white these were so separately however the leggings came in a trio so i have white and i have navy blue and i have like three blacks because i bought the black first so i tried to match my jackets with my leggings but this is basically like the bbl jacket that's so on every freaking wear girl it's on tiktok shop nowadays and it kind of cinches you in at the waist super cute super stretchy it has the um thumb holes so, really comfortable when you're working out. I love that the collar actually lays flat because some of them don't. She is a little sheer. Um, right now, I'm not wearing a bra. So, if you look hard, you probably could see my knops. But, super cute. Super tea. Okay. As far as these white leggings, baby, right now, I have on a white thong. And I can see it. I'm not trying to flash y'all, but I can see her. So I don't really, I'm probably really not going to wear the white ones out because even though they are thick, when you're thicker in terms of like body type, you stretch any type of material. So you're going to see underneath, it's going to make it a little more sheer, but super cute. I wish I worked out this morning so I could have a pump, <laughs> but super cute, super team. We love her. All right, so now we have white on white body. Look, I like milk. I would never wear these two colors together. <laughs> Even though they're both white, they just don't match because they are different textures. So just so y'all know, actually, because that's a really good point to bring up, this is very, like, stretchy. It's forgiving, but it's workout material. It's legit workout material. So when you sweat, it doesn't really show. It's not like a windbreaker material, but it's not cotton. The leggings are cotton. Okay, they are super stretchy um, and very forgiving, okay? The bottoms are stretchier. They're more stretchy than the tops. Um, I can't wait to wear the white top with, like, the black leggings. I think that's just going to look so cute with my, um, my new balances. It's going to give soccer mom. It's going to be so cute. Oh, my God, the sun is coming out, and it was really washing me out for a second, but yes. On to the next. Okay, so I got these on sale for like $15 right now. They're still on sale for $19, but originally they are $46. And I'm talking about the jacket alone, okay? The leggings are more affordable, and the jacket is one, one per order, okay? So this one jacket, $46, are you shitting me? No, ma'am. But I got it for $15, y'all can get it for $20, okay? Get it right now while it's on sale because I left them down. I don't know. Like, uh, everyone is talking about 75 hard. I don't think I can do that, baby. I don't think I can do that. But what I can do is 75 soft. So I just wanted to go out and pick me up a ton of new workout items so I could feel, you know, more inclined to go to the gym and whatnot and get my workout in. Okay, because summer is around the corner and I need, I need the waist to go. Okay, I don't need to ask to go pop. All right, that's that's what we need. I wear these to the gym, to a doctor's appointment, to the nail salon, to the grocery store, to Target. Like what? They're so perfect for every day. I actually wanted to show y'all these because as my Sunday ritual, I am supposed to go to the gym on Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. I just bought up 75 soft. I'm really trying to go to the gym every day, but we're taking baby steps and I'm going to actually start my version of 75 soft when April hits. So April, um, April, May, June, by July, my birthday month, I should be 
in tip top shape okay so i'm not gonna take y'all along with me on my workout because i'm just walking okay on the incline for 30 minutes and then i'm gonna come home and eat me some dinner so that really wraps up today's sunday reset i feel so prepared for the week i hope y'all do as well if you enjoyed today's video make sure you like comment something that you want to see from me in the future okay so if it's clothing hauls fashion maintenance self-care what is it that you want to see from me okay i'm trying to give y'all all of me this year so comment down below please 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 and i'll see y'all in the next video bye mamas Tell me you'll never wanna lose me. Tell me you'll never wanna lose me.